Hey guys, so this is the introduction video to introduce me, and it's going to give you an example about what you're going to be doing. As I explained in the actual week one introduction video, I'm going to be doing these videos in a couple different settings so you can see how you're going to be doing it. I said I was going to be doing it in front of a whiteboard, sometimes I'm going to be doing it in front of a screen in my bedroom, different things like that. Well today, if you can kind of look around, this is one of the walls in my living room. So you can see that you don't have to go far to actually do it. You can do it in your dorm room, you can do it in your house, you can do it wherever. I recommend you not doing it outside as much because normally there's a lot of extra noise outside. If you're around a place that's super quiet outside, that might be a great location. But also make sure you're looking at it because sometimes if the sun is back here, all I see is black on your face and due to the shadows, so I can't really see you. Just making sure that you're trying to look at how to do that. When you're recording these videos, I also have recorded multiple ways to check if they can work. Feel free to do it with your phone and then upload it that way. Currently, I'm actually on my laptop recording from there. Or you can always also do it with like a recording camera and something like that, which I also do in some of my videos. I recommend you always doing it horizontal because that's the way my laptop is. But if you do it vertical, there's nothing against that. That's just my preference, but it does not matter. Now, if you look at what I'm wearing, this is probably one of the most casual things I'm going to be wearing, but feel free to wear a button-up, jeans, a skirt, dress, whatever. Do not wear a ball cap. Remember, you should not be wearing one of those because of the shadow on your faces. Do not wear ripped jeans, even if you think they're, they're super cute. It's not professional for this class, okay? So make sure that you're looking professional. Again, if you're wearing some nice jeans or anything like that, that's perfectly fine as well. Nice jeans, a, a button-up shirt that you might wear to church or anything like that, depending on how you, who you are as a person, how you like to dress, that is perfectly fine. I myself like to dress up more, but some people, they think jeans and a button-up shirt is their most dressy that they want to get, and that is perfectly fine. Use your own judgment to what you think it is, but again, if it's to dress down, then you might get points docked for that. So just think, what would you wear to church or what would you go out with your future in-laws or something like that for? Now for this speech, you can see my outline on the, the same tab that this is in. And you can look at that and then kind of follow along in how I do it. When you're filling out the outline, just know, kind of have the same part that I'm going to have, have the introduction, all of that. And then the body, you're going to have three different items to represent yourself. So when you have these three different items, they're going to be whatever you think can best show who you are. Now, I realize that three items is not going to tell me about your full life, and that is perfectly fine. So you do not have to do multiple items or an item that encapsulates everything, because the three items I'm going to show you, it's going to miss out a lot. It's really not going to tell you anything about me growing up with my family and different things like that. It's really going to tell you about who I am around this moment in time. So figure out whatever three items you want to represent for the three things that you have. And some items can represent multiple things, as you'll see with mine. Now, as we go, make sure that you're trying to video where I can see your whole face and just kind of work on it. This video is an introduction video, so you're introducing yourself. But I also designed it so that you can create a reason why you should try to upload a video because sometimes it's really simple depending on how your internet's going sometimes it takes hours one time i uploaded a video for this class and it took five hours so just realize that it could take a long time and that i want this video to be a practice if you do not upload this video it's not going to really dock on your grade but realize if you don't upload this video and then your first grade speech, you say, hey, I'm having video issues and it's due in a day. I'm going to look back and say, well, we could have figured this out if you had uploaded this video the first time for the practice. I also go and watch all these videos to get to know you a little bit more. And then I also watch these videos and try to actually see, are you uploading them in a correct form? By the way, MP4 or .movie. So .mp4 or .mov. Those are the two best ways to do it. You can also upload it to YouTube and then just copy and paste the link. That works as well. Do not upload this to your Google Drive and then try to share the link with me because a lot of times the security issues, um, every time someone has shared a Google Drive with me, it rarely works, very few times. So I would recommend you just doing YouTube or just uploading it directly. Whatever you think that works best for you, you can try both and you can use both and figure out whichever one works well for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started, so feel free to watch and realize my items are up here by the laptop, so I'm going to actually reach in, and it's not going to be the best speech because it's an online speech, so we have to work with what we are. 
also see that you're looking up from a little bit lower than my waist up. That's what I want because now I can see your different moves that you're going to have. Because if we're only looking at this, I'm not going to be able to see how your movements are, how you are doing with your hands and different things like that. Even if you are one of those people that just put your hands up and you don't know what to do. And if you're having it like this, I can't see the rest of your body, how you're going to be doing it. But if you're doing this, I can see if you're doing a weird, weird leg thing, different things like that. I actually prefer if I could see for your, your knees up, but just a little bit below your waist, kind of how I am. This is the minimum that I want to see of you. I prefer your whole body, but again, I understand that that might not be possible. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the speech really, honestly, if it lasts 30 seconds, that's great. If it lasts two minutes, that's great. They really should not last over two minutes. If they're over two minutes, that means you're a little long-winded, like I am, and you need to start cutting things down, okay? But if your video is three minutes long, that is perfectly fine. For this introduction speech, there's not a video length requirement. But realize, for your other speeches, there is a length requirement. But if you have it where you do it and then it takes you 30 seconds to walk over here and 30 seconds to walk back, I'm not counting those 30 seconds. It's actually from when you start saying your speech to when you end your speech. Without further ado, here is my introduction speech to help you. Hello everyone, did you ever wanna know a little bit more about your teachers? Well, today you are going to be able to do that. My name is Professor Hubbard and I'm going to tell you three items that represent me to help explain a little bit more of you. My items are one, a wedding ring, two, a little buffalo, and three, a minion dressed as Captain America. Well, let's dive in. First is my wedding ring. My wedding ring is very important to me because it shows the love I have for my wife, the endless circle that they talk about in the weddings. It also represents my lovely child who is 17, almost 18 months now, and it represents the love I have for him, and of course, the rest of my family, my dog, Oliver, and it just represents all of that as a whole. My next item is a buffalo. So this is a little wooden buffalo. I'm originally from West Texas A&M University is where I went to school. It's not my original hometown, but West Texas A&M University is where I got my undergraduate and my master's. And it shows me that education is very important and that I love school and I love education because I have a passion for it. Hence why now I'm at University of Oklahoma getting my PhD. And my final item is a little minion that is dressed like Captain America. I love minions. I don't know if it's the pure joy they have or the pure love. I always want to say innocence, but they're not innocent because they're, they're villains and they're bad guys at times. But it just shows the pure love that they have. And then Captain America shows that I love, love superhero movies. Captain America is my favorite superhero, but know that Doctor Strange is getting right up there. I just love the idea of that. And a lot of things that I study is with Disney or Marvel and different things like that, which Marvel is Disney. But with this, I love to study narratives and storytelling, and I feel like superheroes do a great job of storytelling from the comics to the big screen to whatever they do, and I love all of those. So today I told you about three items that represent me, a minion, a wedding ring, and a buffalo. Again, if you want to know more about me, just feel free to let me know, but these are the three items that represent me, and other than that, you have a great day. Okay, so that's the example of the speech. Pretty simple. It wasn't that long, mine was a little bit under two minutes, and I was went pretty quick. If yours is less than that, that's perfectly fine. Just know that this is really just for you to practice uploading your speech and to practice kind of getting it out there. If you have any questions about this or if you have issues, let me know. Again, do not have issues the day before because it's hard to email me on Saturday when I might be studying or I might be spending time with my son. So try to upload it as soon as you can, try to work with it, and then figure out how to do it. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye, guys.